What are the key factors for such a growth in self-storage? I understand the paradigm about keeping everything, but is there any anything else that you could share why we're seeing them pop up everywhere in, in North America? And yeah, there's a ton of reasons. The very first thing I'd say is that it's extremely fragmented market, which means there's a lot of opportunity for consolidation. Only 18% of the facilities right now are owned by the six largest publicly traded REITs. Another nine to 10% are owned by the top 100 largest operators, which I'm a part of, which means that there's roughly 70% of all the facilities out there that are owned by mom and pop operators, people that they didn't go out to make a business out of this. It's typically their second or third career or they're in retirement already and they just needed something to do. So that's one reason. But then the second reason from the supply side is you look at the largest generational demographics, the baby boomers and then the millennials. The baby boomers are retiring in mass right now. It's something like 15 mm -hmm. to 16,000 people a day. And what they're doing is they're going from these large three to five bedroom apartments in the suburbs and they're downsizing it to condos and townhomes because they're empty nesters now. So what happens to all of that stuff? Typically yeah. it goes into storage. But then on the older end of the baby boomer divide, you have people that are unfortunately going into assisted living or, or passing away. And they pass away with a lot of possessions. And typically their children, instead of having to go through that emotional decluttering, they're just putting it in a self-storage facility and just letting it set. Self-storage is a very sticky asset, which means once you get your stuff in there and you put your credit card on auto pay, you basically forget about it until it's time to move on. So that's the baby boomers. Now, the millennials is a completely different story. So as opposed to like the baby boomers, when they were 18 to 22 years old, they're buying houses in the burbs with a ton of rooms. This is the exact opposite. We're having a housing crisis right now, affordability crisis in this country. So what's happening is a lot of the millennials are opting for much smaller residences on the size of 700 to 1500 square feet. They're typically closer to where all the action is because they don't want to have to use a vehicle or, or have to drive and park that vehicle a lot. But you have people living in downtown quarters next to uh, the entertainment districts, next to restaurants and shopping, things like of that nature. And then they're using a storage facility as a second or third closet because the cost per square foot of renting that is substantially less than, say, the mortgage on buying the change in mortgage on buying a house that is larger to compensate for the amount of room that they need. So because the two largest generations in US history are driving a lot of this demand, you're starting to see a ton of need in, in the self-storage space from a consumer standpoint. 